They're unconventional and uncannily attractive. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unexpected male sex symbols. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at 10 male celebrities who have that certain je ne sais quoi. We're not saying that this means they aren't attractive to begin with, just that they aren't necessarily sexy in the most conventional sense, and that there is something about them that is undeniably appealing. Number 10. Seth Rogen I work out. This hilarious Canadian-American actor started turning heads after the release of The 40-Year-Old Virgin, becoming an instant favorite for his deadpan delivery, deep voice, and addictive laugh. I am ugly as f by traditional standards, but I get with women. But it was his turn as Ben Stone in the 2007 romantic comedy Knocked Up that solidified his charm for most viewers. Do we have sex? Yes. Nice. Men and women alike found that they were attracted to his low-key style, relatable humor, and the fact that he looks like a lot of fun. Confident and always having a great time, that's sexy as hell. Also, who didn't get a weird crush after the bean scene in Zack and Miri make a porno? Swallow my cockachino! Number 9. Ed Sheeran This carrot-topped Brit has been winning hearts almost since the day he debuted, and not just because he looks like Rupert Grint. Wicked. On first glance, he might seem like a softy, but those tattoos add all the edge he needs. As adorable as he is, he doesn't fit the conventional mold for a sex symbol. Pale, soft-spoken, red hair, but here we are. The fact is, Sheeran is just so genuine, and that makes him extremely likable. Plus, his musical talents are enviable and swoon-worthy. Who wouldn't love to be serenaded by this guy? Take me into your loving arms. Number 8. Aziz Ansari Later on, I think we definitely need to do a little honky-tonk. When he strutted onto the scene as the infectiously confident, immaculately decked out, and suave Tom Haverford on Parks and Recreation, Aziz Ansari made it clear he wasn't just going to be another trope character. Why don't you get some Canadian bacon on it, since you're from Canada, mm -hmm. and sausage, because I am brown and spicy. <laughs> Okay. Ansari has made a name for himself in comedy, especially as a writer. When he plays a ladies' man, he shifts easily from uncomfortable yet hilarious to heartfelt and honest. He seems like the kind of guy that would unironically light candles for dinner and really try to make you feel good. Plus, he wrote and researched Modern Romance, a book discussing the ups and downs of 21st century dating, so you know he knows how to do it right. All right, well, date over. Number 7. Adam Driver Supreme Leader, I can get the map from the girl. I just need your guidance. Audiences first got to know him as the weird and intense Adam Sackler on the HBO hit Girls. However, he skyrocketed to mega fame after landing the role of Kylo Ren, another intense and volatile character. In the seventh installment of the Star Wars saga, The Force Awakens, he proves that intense is what people like. But Adam Driver isn't just fierce, he also has quite the hilarious side, if his time hosting Saturday Night Live is any indication. Hearing that Zack lost his son really struck a nerve with me. <laughs> Especially since I'm the one that killed him. With his deep, smooth voice, angular features, and dark hair and eyes, we're sure he's awakened the force in more than one moviegoer. Don't be afraid. I feel it too. Number 6. Jeff Goldblum uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Goldblum's acting career, spanning terrifying sci-fi ventures like Invasion of the Body Snatchers to delightfully quirky Wes Anderson flicks, certainly runs the gamut. Did you just throw my cat out the window? In any case, Goldblum frequently plays the odd man out, proving that eccentric can be quite attractive. Be it his iconic roles as Dr. Brundle, Pre-Fly of course, or Dr. Malcolm, he proves that there's no rhyme or rhythm for who can be attractive. His memeable manner of speaking may have distracted us from the glaringly obvious. He's all kinds of gorgeous. He has rarely made the sexiest alive lists out there, but we love him. It certainly looks. That's plenty substantial. Yeah, we'll take one of those. Yeah, but it's not, it's not a knot. <laughs> Number 5. Michael Sarah. Do you have a girlfriend? Should I be jealous? Yes, you should. I have this totally awesome girlfriend who calls me all the time. She's America. American. There's something truly endearing about this guy, whether he's on the screen or off. Though he's usually cast as the awkward or nerdy type. I'll leave you alone forever now. Thanks. His loyal fan base really can't get enough. Because he often plays the sweet guy who's just looking for a break, Sarah just seems so relatable. Oh my god, if I don't 
I'm Michael Sarah tonight, I'm gonna blow my brains out. He's the nice guy that nice guys wanna be, and that ladies genuinely find attractive. So what if he can't bench press above his weight class? But it's hard. At the end of the day, most people would take the funny, soft-spoken guy with decent taste in music over a meathead anyway. You kicked my heart in the ass, so I guess we're even. Number four, Willem Dafoe. I'm bragging here. What do you mean you find him a little terrifying? Okay, we'll admit he's an acquired taste. His grin is nothing short of maniacal, and the fact that he has a tendency to play villains makes us think he's a little bit dangerous, but we kind of like it. His turn as Christ was a bit sexier than we were really ready for, and we're not even sure if it's cool to say that. But hey, if you like him with blue eyes, hard lines, and raspy, whiskey-washed voices, you really have to look no further than Mr. Defoe. I thought the selection was quite good. Number three, Matt Smith. He's cool, isn't he cool? I'm the doctor and I'm all cool. Despite his youthful exterior, he seems like an old soul, which made him the perfect choice for the 11th Doctor on the beloved Doctor Who. Let's face it, it takes a very special type of guy to make bow ties, and the occasional fez look cool. Fez, I wear a fez now. Fezes are cool. He once again proved he looks like he's from another era by playing a young Prince Philip on the crown. No matter who he's playing, we admire his acting prowess, and the fact that his jawline and cheekbones look like they could cut diamonds. He's certainly unconventional, and <clears throat> something something sonic screwdriver. What? Number 2. Conan O'Brien Seriously? Yeah. Conan O'Brien. You would do Conan O'Brien. Oh my god, yes! Conan has been known for decades now as one of the funniest men of late night. His humor was attractive enough, but on more than one occasion, Mr. O'Brien has bared it all in the name of comedy. In a bold sketch with Chelsea Handler, poking fun at Handler's late night set taking over Conan's old spot, we were pleasantly surprised by what was under his suits. If you didn't have a crush on the late night redhead before this, you definitely did afterwards. He also looked pretty good next to The Walking Dead Stephen Yun. Hello? You're naked. <laughs> naked. So not only is he funny, provocative and sharp, he also rocks a sweet bod. I don't recall being involved in anything like this. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. It's kind of it's hard to feel like a sex symbol when your wife is using another man's <laughs> cooking. What do you mean, the little man? German's nickname for you. The German's nickname for me is the little man? Who are you trying to get crazy with, is it? Don't you know I'm local? Number one, Bill Murray. God damn it, Bill f***ing Murray! Not convinced? Let's break this down. No, he's not quite in the same league as the Brad Pitts and Michael Fassbenders of the world. He's in a league of his own. Seemingly without even trying, he's amassed a huge cult following. Murray's magnetic personality has captivated us on screen time and time again, showing an incredible range in his roles, going from kooky comedies to introspective rom-coms seamlessly. He's also a pretty thoughtful guy, though he does sometimes show up at house parties randomly for the fun of it. Charisma is sexy, and there is no denying he's got that in spades. Take me now, sub-creature. We never talk anymore. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.